currently, I just opened up the world's potentially first lawn zoo. Rain or shine. Uh, it's the A to Zoo. I am creating one recycled wood painting in front of my house every day. Going straight through the alphabet, A through Z. Ideally showcasing uh, strange and interesting animals. Lions, tigers, and bears are great, but armadillos, baboons, and cassowaries, and dugongs are all great as well. So I spend a good chunk of time just watching a couple of YouTube videos about animals and, and I'll just kind of sketch them out on my iPad. I do a couple of different designs and then I project them onto a piece of wood, trace them at the size that I need them to be, cut them out with a jigsaw and just start painting. I really wanted to make sure I didn't just do uh, land animals. So I'm trying to do a big mix. I have a dugong which lives in the water and I have a, a fish coming up for H. I've been doing this for just a little over a year, which is insane looking at this room, I know. But my parents sent out my Calvin and Hobbes comic books from when I was a kid. And in those books, there were these snowmen that Calvin would make to annoy his parents. And I loved them so much. There was a storm coming into Portland. I thought, hey, it'd be fun to throw a snowman in the front yard. So I borrowed my neighbor's jigsaw, used some wood that uh, was under our back porch, made a snowman, uh, who I still have, and I threw him in the front yard and all my neighbors loved it. So I was just like, all right, this is something. I'm gonna keep doing it. Most of the wood, if not all of it, that I use is recycled and all of the paint is from Metro Paint, which is another recycled paint company. So I'm trying to make sure that I do my best to, you know, not add to the problems on the planet. <laughs> I think routine is really important right now, and knowing that there's something that gets updated every day is a, a really great thing. There's a couple people who come by several times a day just to say, say hi to the baboon and to check in on the armadillo, and I think that's just the coolest. That's just such a great feeling, especially for an artist, to see the appreciation for your work in person. 